News 8 is your local election headquarters. Five days and counting until Connecticut voters head to the polls to cast their vote in the state primary, narrowing down the number of contenders who want to be our state's next governor. The majority of them taking part in a forum this morning in Southington. News 8's Ken Pierce joins us live with who was there and what the candidates had to say. Good afternoon, Ken. Good afternoon to you, Brian. Six out of the eight men running for governor were there at the AquaTurf in Southington this morning talking about what they would do to make Connecticut better for business. Thank you very much. The Central Connecticut Chambers of Commerce got to meet most of the candidates for governor firsthand. We want to make sure that we have a governor that understands that one of the paths to prosperity is going to be through job creation. I am the only manufacturer running for governor. I'm the only person who's probably been a member of a chamber of commerce. So I understand what you all are dealing with every day. Steve Obsitnik may be the only manufacturer in the race, but two of his fellow Republicans do run businesses. David Stemmerman thinks the solution to the state's huge pension debt is to do what General Motors did. What they said is, we can't pay you everything that you've been promised, but we need to make sure that your retirement is secure. And they created an independent, locked, privately managed trust. So I would submit to you that we need to start running the state of Connecticut like you guys run your businesses. Um, we are not a charity in this state. We need fiscal responsibility. Bob Stefanowski was a GE executive before GE left. He wants to keep jobs in Connecticut by eliminating the income tax. Danbury Mayor Mark Bowden wants to do that too. I know what you're saying. You're sitting there rolling your eyes and saying, I've heard that before. It's never going to happen. How are you going to get the money? All that stuff. This is our time to completely reorganize state government. Bridgeport Mayor Joe Gannam says he already turned around a city that was in fiscal crisis. And working in partnership with the business community, with labor leaders, with grassroots organizations and different levels of government, we're able to quickly put it back on solid fiscal ground. Gannon was the only Democrat there, although he did try calling his primary opponent, Ned Lamont, to find out where he was. Just give me a second. There was no answer. Independent Oz Griebel is not in a primary next week, but after years working with businesses at the Metro Hartford Alliance, he certainly felt at home making his case to the chamber crowd. The governor is the one person who has to serve as the chief marketing officer dealing with the employer base that is here today. If you believe in the adage that your next best customer is your current customer, it means spending time with people like you on a regular basis, either in forums like this or in... So I mentioned there were six of eight there, and Lamont wasn't there. The other candidate not part of this was Republican former Trumbull first selectman Tim Herbst. He showed up right at the end, too late to be a part of the forum. Remember, voting starts 6 a.m. Tuesday. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Kent Pierce.